just did the 24th today and I thought it was about time to put on some of the tomatoes. Now I won't be putting all of them on today because I've just far too many. Some are a wee bit small but they're coming along well. Now I've already started, these are from Seed Black Cherry tomatoes and we have five of them. I've put it on two and as you can see here that wee one there I'll just leave in. The trees actually get soaked because I was watering in the greenhouse last night from above. So these are the last two that I'm going to be putting up of the black cherry tomatoes today. They're looking nice and healthy. Now apart from one other guys I think this is the I think these are the only ones that are, are from seed. I'm not quite sure. The rest are from ones that were bought when we've been out shopping. There we go, there's another one. I've got a small little spare tub here. And we'll take that wee one out. Come on, little one. Get you in there, see if you're doing any better in there. Too wet in that one for you. Next, we're going on to large shop bot. These are the large shop bot here. You've seen weeks and weeks ago that I'd sewn. And they have came on absolutely fantastic. Gently does it. Madam. Set it back up there, sweetie pies. There we go. Now look at that. Absolutely stunning that one. And that's what I'm saying, that's from So that's absolutely excellent looking from a shop bought tomato. But we'll see what they're like, what they taste like. We'll get it potted up now. Right, so there you go. You've seen the size of the plant before I put it in. Feeling a wee bit sorry for itself already, look. Uh, you've seen the size of it before I put it in there. So it's been buried right up to as far as I could possibly get it. Uh, and I think I'll use this wee stick here for support. I'll give it a quick water when I'm finished here and we'll have another look at it again tomorrow because it was fine until I took it out there but it should be fine. So that is one large shop bought red tomato. So I'll carry on and do these other two that's in here. So what I'm going to do guys is actually put these two in together because they will eventually at some point go into containers on their own but as you see as you can see guys this is large enough for two plants at the minute now I'm not saying the short bulk ones are going to have a very nice flavour or I think it was Nigel that said Muddy boots of the rough ones, or but time will tell. You can only try these things, can't you? And we get lovely flavours and toms out of the shopping. Then that's fine. Free food. Free food is what we like to see, guys. Right, and again, they will get watered. after I come off camera. So we've got the other two in there. So that's the two large short bought ones there and got the label here just in case I do my usual and forget. Now moving on guys look at these 29th of March. I know we've done a couple of updates that's where sweet corn what did I say they were called? They were called Bantam. And Catherine in Hillside Gardens has told me that they are a heritage variety, the sweet corn. So I'm looking forward to them. I'm going to try a wee experiment with them when I'm ready for thinging them, when I'm ready for putting them in. 
Right, where is my pot? Here they are. Forever lemon. Forever yellow. Coloured courgettes. And this will probably be the last pot I'll be putting this in. Oh my god, can't get it out. Up there. Come on, Bubba. Oh, Hannibal looked at me there, he thought I was talking to him. So there we go. That is one yellow courgette plant. Now, did I sow six? One, two, three, six I sown, I think, and we have got four. But to be quite honest with you, we only need two. So if I'm feeling my usual generous self, I may give, I may give a couple to the neighbours. So there we go guys, I won't bore you with putting up the rest, but that is one of our four yellow courgettes. Right, guys, I'm hoping these survive, or have survived, um, but time will tell. I was actually going to show them direct, as I said in another video, down where the other peas are and where my, pota my late potatoes are going to go. And then I looked at the packet guys, and I didn't want to risk putting them down there, waiting weeks, nothing happens. So I think this will be the best way. One, two, three, four, five. These are dwarf bean conchidor. And they're meant to be yellow, these ones. So we shall see. I wonder if I can get three wee rows in here. Three wee trenches are like wee tic tacs. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, the inside of these, uh, the inside of that packet is actually foil. So I'm hoping that when they, they got wet last year, when the water got into my, my garden box, that it hasn't affected the seeds. But as I said, time will tell. And they'll get a good soak. So that's 15 in there. Dwarf bean a conked dot. I'm sure that said yellow. I'm sure those are the yellow ones. If not, dwarf bean conked dot green is fine by me and I've just lost one. So there's quite a few seeds in there. So what I'm gonna do guys is uh give them a soak and wait a week or so and see if they come up. And if they come up then fan dabby dozy. Then I'll continue and I'll show the rest. Now look what's behind me, I've just noticed. Do you see that? Do you see that? Well, I don't know if it has been in the greenhouse or if it's been in where the radishes are. So I cannot feed it to my chickens because in the greenhouse I have been putting slug pellets down. So, excuse me guys. There we go. That will go in the compost, short the portlet. Sorry about that. As I say, I love, na I love my nature myself, but not those buggers. Right, let's see what else we've got. Right guys, so I've been putting on next uh, is my sweet corn. And I've actually done three of them. And I'm just going to show you me doing the other two. They were in very, very, very shallow. As you can see, trays. Well, they'll probably be in these pots until such times they go in the ground. But it was just to show you the roots on some of them. So, very healthy. Did I see they're called Bantam? The label's in the, in the greenhouse next to the other ones. You just give it a slight twirl. Let's see. Slight swirl, twirl if the roots don't go in right away. Pull it round about and they'll go in perfecto. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be watering these today because they were actually saturated last night. But we'll see as the day goes on, as the afternoon goes on. So one more. Right, the last one. The 
Look at the length of that. Now, is that the one plant? That is the one plant. That is the one root, should I say, sorry, of that plant. So they definitely should feel a lot better after getting out that wee narrow tree or shallow tree. Looking good so far, looking good so far, Clarice. There you go guys, we have one, two, three, four, five sweet corn potted up or potted on. We have our courgettes, I did manage to pot them all on. We have one, two, we have four yellow courgettes. Right guys, to finish off, because I've got lots on, lots to do. We're going to put on our gherkins, and they were sewn on the 20th of March. Despite what the second label says, that must be last year's label. And yet again, I am going to put both of these plants in this tub. There should be plenty of room in there until such times they get in the ground. Now yet again, I have absolutely no idea where everything is going yet. But my husband is back on Thursday. So we'll know better then. There we go. Not bad roots on that either, guys. And then all the work, renovation work and dust, etc. all starts again next week. And I am running away. So if anybody wants to put me up, please let me know. And I will be right over, or across, or up, or down, or whatever. There we go, absolutely gorgeous. Hubby will come up with the iPad and the GoPro and we shall get some footage of how a Rottweiler should be acting and behaving in public in and around other animals, etc, etc. And I'm just saying that to Michael. Because you're Michael's wee dog, oh I can't remember his name. Michael said in his last video that his wee dog got attacked by a Rottweiler. Well that just wouldn't happen here. Because when you're out and about, as I said before, I won't go into it because uh, it's too long. But I've said it before anyway and I've mentioned it in comments. If they're the wrong owners, or the wrong owners have got them, then your dog and even, say like my dog, they don't stand a chance. Because if they're not looked after right, they're not trained properly and whatever else, these dogs are just going to go do a lally. Exact same as any other dog would go do a lally if, if mistreated or not looked after properly so I don't know what happened in, uh, in terms of M Michael's wee dog getting attacked but it's not right that it's not on uh, so fingers crossed that's me off my high horse because I need to go I've got things to do so that's what I've done today guys so Michael fingers crossed on Saturday uh, we'll get our first footage of Hannibal's training and how it goes and you just can have a wee look because I'm all excited hubby's been wanting to video properly not to have it jumping about and uh, remember to press the button, etc, etc. But I will alliterate that yet again before Saturday comes. So there you go, guys. That's uh, At least that's that amount. Potted on. Or potted up. Not too often, as they say. Anyway, never mind for now. Guys, until next time, au revoir, toodle pip, and bye-bye.